to set up the telephone, first open a telephone box. You'll see that every telephone has a label on the side indicating what its extension number is going to be, as well as the location where it will be installed. Consult with the on-site manager or technician in order to locate these positions. When you take the telephone out of the box, of course remove all plastic wrapping, and you'll see inside you have a coiled handset cord. Under here you have the handset itself. And under here you have a stand which has two different settings for dusk, dusk installation. If you have any telephones that are going in a wall mount location, you'll have a separate box for that adapter. On the back of the telephone, just like any standard IP telephone, you'll have a LAN connection as well as a PC connection. On most installations, the telephone jack is dedicated just to its own wire, so there's no reason to connect anything to the PC jack. You also see you have the handset connection here for the coiled cord, as well as the AC adapter, which most sites will require, and you'll receive in boxes like this. Whenever you're installing a headset at this particular telephone location, you won't connect the handset directly here. Instead, you'll use the adapters included with the headset, and you'll also connect an electronic hook switch connection to this side port on the side of the telephone, labeled EHS. I connected my LAN cable. I should see IPL starting on the display of the phone. If I don't, that means that this cable is not providing power over Ethernet, so you'll need to connect the AC adapter in order to provide power to the phone. Now we see now loading on the display of the phone. Followed by please wait. At this point it's testing the network connection. We see a version information for the software that's on the phone and then searching. As searching starts blinking we'll next see DHCP server search. As you can see DHCP waiting. It's now getting an IP address assigned by the router on the network. And once that stops blinking we'll see server connecting one. And this came up pretty fast. Sometimes it doesn't come up quite as quickly. It may actually time out and say not connected or DHCP server timeout, something like that. If that does happen, go ahead and press the cancel button here. Every Panasonic phone has a cancel button somewhere. Just press, press that repeatedly until it gets back to DHCP searching. And as long as it goes into DHCP searching, eventually it will grab an IP address. And once it does that, it should connect to the server pretty easily. If not, continue to press cancel until the process is successful. You also see once we did connect I have the time and date here. If I push the info button here on my screen it tells me what extension number and name I'm currently at. Make sure that that matches the contents on the box. Continue to push info until you get back to the time and date.